India has set its sights on a remarkable transformation, turning its once modest rail network into a cutting-edge, state-of-the-art marvel. They're working on a new high-speed rail system with an impressive top speed of nearly 200 miles per hour, over twice as swift as India's existing railway. This means that travelers can whittle their journey time between Mumbai and Ahmedabad down to just about two hours, a journey that originally takes an arduous nine. However, India's pursuit of rapid, modern, and safe rail travel goes beyond convenience. It aligns with the nation's aspirations of becoming a fully developed country and a global superpower. A high-speed rail network that seamlessly connects key cities and regions is a significant stride toward achieving these goals. But there seems to be a problem. Six years after the commencement of this project, India is still struggling to make significant progress. Why is India's first bullet train taking forever to build? And what exactly is the way forward? India's railways, a fast and bustling network in the world's fastest growing major economy, tell a story of contrasts. While the country surges ahead economically, its railway system is lagged behind. Its trains are often a paradox, slow, overcrowded, aging, and uncomfortable. Nearby nations zip along shiny high-speed rail lines, starkly contrasting India's railway landscape. The country boasts the fourth largest rail network globally, with a vast route spanning nearly 70,000 kilometers. This immense railway system shoulders the responsibility of transporting over a billion tons of freight and ferrying more than 8 billion passengers across the world's most populous nation. India's population, now surpassing even China's, relies on this network. Navigating India can be a formidable task, and not just via train. The infamous road traffic poses its own set of challenges, pushing many towards domestic flights. Recent railway incidents continue to cast a shadow of doubt. The nation's rail network, over 160 years old, is one of the world's oldest, but it grapples with safety concerns. These railway-related accidents claim tens of thousands of lives annually, garnering international attention. In June 2023, India even faced one of its most devastating train disasters. A signaling failure in Odisha led to a catastrophic collision and derailment involving three trains resulting in hundreds of casualties and over a thousand injuries. Still, the railways remain the nation's lifeline, particularly for millions who lack alternative transportation options. For the Indian populace, the railways continue to be an essential mode of transportation, even as the aviation sector expands. These incidents, however, have rekindled debates about the safety of India's sprawling and aging railway infrastructure. To tackle the growing transportation challenge, the country is embarking on a transformative journey by building a high-speed rail endeavor fashioned after Japan's iconic system. This ambitious project, already in the advanced stages of construction, spans elevated viaducts that soar over the landscape and delves deep into the undersea tunnels. It's a monumental engineering feat that could position India as a global superpower. This vital railway connection bridges the bustling metropolises of Mumbai and Ahmedabad, both economic powerhouses. Spanning just over 500 kilometers, the route encompasses 12 new stations, offering an efficient alternative to the strenuous drive between the two cities. This ambitious endeavor is described as groundbreaking, featuring Shinkansen trains, the same models found on Japan's famed rail network. Apart from their remarkable speed and enhanced safety, these trains have also been integral in reducing environmental impact. Their energy-efficient operations and regenerative braking systems contribute to lower carbon emissions compared to other forms of transportation. So how does India plan to materialize this impressive rail network, especially when one of the endpoints it's connecting is a sprawling city with over 20 million inhabitants? We know that approximately 92% of the track will be elevated on viaducts and bridges, offering multiple benefits. This approach allows the railway to traverse rivers and existing infrastructure, minimizing its environmental footprint and, theoretically, simplifying land acquisition. However, one substantial engineering challenge emerges at the Thane Creek, a large inlet to the east of Mumbai. It's the sole location along the entire route where a substantial body of water impedes the path. Instead of forging a head high above the surface, the decision was made to venture underground. The process commences with excavation through drilling and blasting, Subsequently, ground supports and reinforcements are introduced, topped with a concrete shell over a waterproof lining. The result is India's first undersea rail tunnel, a remarkable 7 kilometers in length, with the entire underground section spanning an impressive 21 kilometers. It's a single tube with sufficient space for two trains, one in each direction, demanding a substantial 13-meter diameter. Indeed, it's a remarkable engineering feat in the making. 
This extensive project was meticulously estimated to amount to 1.1 lakh crore, about 14 billion US dollars. However, a significant portion of the funding, precisely 81% of the total project cost, was secured through a generous contribution from the Japan International Cooperation Agency. This amounted to 88,087 crore, which corresponds to $15 billion in 2023. The support was extended in the form of a 50-year, 1.5 trillion Japanese yen loan, carrying a remarkably low interest rate of 0.1% and a provision for a moratorium on repayments for up to 15 years. The state governments of Maharashtra and Gujarat shouldered the remaining financial responsibility. Strategic collaboration with Japan for this project was further exemplified by Japan's contribution of 20% of the components used on the corridor. Notably, these components were to be both supplied by Japan and manufactured in India, forging a partnership that combined technological expertise with local production. It's evident that India has a well-thought-out plan for the construction of this bullet train. However, various challenges are impeding its progress. The project's progress has reached over 30%, but the initial completion target for 2022 has been pushed to at least 2028. Several factors contributed to this delay. Elevating most of the track on piers, expedited land acquisition, a perennial challenge in railway construction, yet it couldn't entirely eliminate the problem. In early 2022, nearly all the land in Gujarat had been acquired, while in Maharashtra it stood at 75% due to legal disputes with landowners. The situation has improved, though, with both regions now at nearly 100%, though it happened later than anticipated. Further complicating matters, a change in government in Maharashtra resulted in an anti-bullet train coalition temporarily holding power. Their concerns centered on the project's beneficiaries, favoring conventional railway projects as they perceive them to benefit a larger population. Despite the government's change in favor of the bullet train, the debate on whether it caters to everyone's needs lingers. Upon completion, the high-speed rail must garner substantial passenger support to recoup the considerable investment. Estimates suggested would require around 50 million travelers annually to achieve this financial goal. The question now is if India is focusing its efforts in the right direction by prioritizing a brand new high-speed railway when existing infrastructure issues persist. A significant portion of the infrastructure resources have been allocated to road construction since it's also a vital component of the Million Infrastructure Plan. This approach seeks to extend infrastructure support to rural areas, aiding in poverty alleviation, enhancing employment opportunities, and fostering economic development between cities and towns. This concerted effort can potentially position India on the global stage as an infrastructure powerhouse. As a result, India aspires to enrich its tourism sector and expedite economic growth. Though the national government believes the bullet train project is the launching point for a nationwide network, those who can't afford it should have a safe and reliable alternative too. And that's where the road development comes in. The improved general infrastructure will be a significant driver, with the nation possibly earning the title of infrastructure enthusiast on the global stage. Although the speed of the bullet train project's progress is far from fast, the prospects it offers are genuinely exciting. It's only a matter of time before India joins the ranks of countries with this coveted infrastructure and the prevailing transportation challenges will gradually fade into history. Do you think it's the right idea for India to focus on other architectural endeavors before completing their first bullet train? Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. Also, please like and share this video. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more engaging content. See you in the next video.